Hi guys, so I thought I'd do a quick video on traffic leaks. So what they are, uh, how you can use them for your site, especially with all the new updates with everything happening. It's definitely a good idea to expand your basically website and where you get traffic from. So you just don't rely on Google, you've got other sources. It also helps with EEAT uh, because you're basically getting your name out there, especially if you're on uh, industry specific forums and stuff like that. Cool, let's dive in. So what is traffic leaks? So traffic leak is basically generating traffic. So it's putting your site in front of the right audience at the right time uh, when it has the most effect, basically like SEO. This only obviously works if you're in relevant questions and you're commenting on relevant topics, but it works exactly the same. And the impact is increased conversions, high search engine rankings when using an SEO standpoint and increased revenue for your business. So here I've got a little screenshot from uh, one of the examples. And it, instead of using an online example and using forums, which is kind of how we think of things, you can use it for like just $200 worth of chalk writing on the street every day, making uh, half a mil worth of revenue the first year as your marketing strategy. So there's cool ways to use this. And it's a little bit of a growth hacking strategy and it works very well for SEO niche websites as well. So I didn't actually put in these sheets who it kind of came from. So it was CC Carter in the uh, Builders Society forum where I kind of first heard about this and started doing it. And it actually worked out really well because I commented on a lot of Reddit posts and a lot of Quora posts like back in the day. And it st steadily brought in like a lot of traffic to my site. But with the recent update when Reddit and Quora started ranking a lot higher, so did all the posts what I used to comment on back in the day, increasing a lot of my traffic just naturally through these means. So you can do this through forums like Reddit and Quora, like I've mentioned, and you can do it by searching for forums and commenting on popular blogs and even social media pages and communities like Facebook and stuff like that. So I've got a tab open here, and this is just a short bit of text, which I'm going to do on one of my posts on Oliver.com. So all you got to be is just a newsletter subscriber and sign up to, I'm going to do a traffic leaks post and I've got a local SEO post where I've also put all this code in. So if you just sign up to a newsletter, you'll get all the code in the post, but you can do it as in just type in your niche, the keyword, and then instantly you get all the different forums and everything that kind of talks about uh, your industry. So what you do once you do here, you can use link lump if you've got the extension and then, oh, so I don't think it's, there we go. So you can just use link lump and you can just copy all this and just paste it all into a sheet or you can just manually go through because it's not really works. It's came with these, uh, the topics actually underneath for these ones, but it usually works. It's a quick way just to copy and paste all the different um, directories, forums and everything like that in there. Or you can just search forum, search directory and you can find just a massive list of relevant sites to basically comment on and answer on. Cool. So how do you do uh, successful commenting? So curiosity and controversial tends to work. So anything that kind of makes people comment and do that, it kind of works as for creating a topic. You got to make sure you don't use any dates or numbers because these sort of uh, traffic leads, we kind of want them to be evergreen and we want it to continue. So if you do it for dates and numbers, it kind of loses the evergreen factor. They still work, but I prefer the easy option to just do something and let it run forever and rather than having to keep going back and keep doing new topics. So that's definitely a, a point to uh, think about. So vague hooks, um, da, 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 questions work very well. So be relevant and provide insights. So you actually do want to make the comments like worth reading for what people want to do. So you can literally use ChatGPT and summarize some of your own content and use that and provide really in fact, um, insightful comments. You can use perplexity.ai, which I use a lot for stat pages. So I do stuff like this and ask for it, data-driven content and stats on X, whatever the topic is, and it gives you data-driven uh, basically content. These tend to do really well uh, for your own website, for stat pages and for comments and stuff like that, because it proves that you've done a bit of research and you're actually linking out to generally authoritative websites and not just your own website. Cool. So engage with others. So you can use other people's posts and reply to questions and build up 
relationships in the community. That's probably the best way to do it, especially if it's uh, something that's going to drive a lot of traffic in the future and you kind of want it to stick rather than getting deleted. So engaging with others and actually being part of the community helps um, the comments and everything stick longer and people actually use your links. So in summary, we've probably missed a few things here. Let me go back to SEMrush. So for finding topics, say on Reddit, you can just put it into SEMrush, go on your organic keywords and you can find keywords which are actually ranking There we go. So you can find keywords are actually ranking. Obviously, there's different phrases and stuff like that. But if you find topics which are ranking in the top 10, naturally, they're going to be getting traffic from Google, never mind um, organically on the platform. So I also like to do this to give you that little bit of SEO traffic as well as traffic on the forum to make it even a little bit better for you. Right, on to, let's have a look. So identifying leaks, so that's, we've pretty much covered this, but you can also use your website analytics and check if you're getting traffic from any forums or anything naturally anyway, and expand and uh, do more of that basically. So we cut the SEO implications, it gives you high rankings, increased conversions, and gives you engagement on your website, all good things. And commenting strategies, we've just gone through that. So that's pretty much what Traffic Leaks is. And I highly recommend any new site owner or even business owner do this. You can only like you can do it in a few days, a week tops, and you'll have a lot of content out in a lot of different places. Mention in your website, either it's going to increase branded searches of your website if you're not included links, or it's going to include links and they're going to go direct to a product affiliate link or direct to your website. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Enjoy.